Hello and welcome to Eyewitness Report on Channels Television, where all the videos and shorts sent to our Eyewitness portal get even more attention. Today, we'll take time out with Ujo Discopta from Benin. Also, we'll bring you an update on the Lagos State Tax Force visit to the coastal road in Lekki. Join us for these and more. I'm Chris Ellips. Mr. Arik Bader, who sculpted the female core member statue for his NYC project, also displayed his skills before our correspondent, Jessica Olobushere, who watched him at work for some days in his makeshift studio in the Edo State Capitol. Resplendent in her National Youth Service Corps NYC kit, she stands in front of the Corps Zonal Office on Ipukwan Road in Benin City, the Edo State Capitol. Even though lifeless and still, she beckons many. Some choose to keep evidence of her presence with them. One reason she is deemed to attract passers-by is her lifelike looks, the statue's close resemblance to reality. To find out the story around this piece of artwork, Eyewitness Report locates its creator within the Edo State capital, Benin City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oju Aribede is the young sculptor. Uh, uh, at least, uh, the reason he gives is nothing elaborate, yet it's impactful. Oh, I promised myself that before I left this um, one year of service, I would do something that I would make sure I do something. Even though it's not, I just want to be different among others, I would make sure I do something. That's why I came up with the project. Another point of curiosity is the girl who became the statue and the efforts that went into the project. I was thinking of going to my CDS group and just announce it to people like who is interested. I want to I need a female model, I want to do a statue of a female copper. So now the the Wallace Lassisi now suggests that he has she has, he has a friend. The lady was very excited and said, Okay, no problem now. But in, initially he didn't know she didn't know what she was going to be doing. When we now decided to, okay, let's start work and uh, we fixed a date, I just discovered that, okay, that day she came. Ah, she was very, she was feeling tired, like, how will I be, how will I be standing for uh, three hours, three hours, one hour break, something like that. So, ah, I was like, didn't Wale explain to you? That is our discussion. If you are going to model, you're going to be standing. I will be using your uh, image. I want to consider during the, uh, because of the time. So I was now working with picture and her. Uh, so if you could start, if if you stand for like one hour, I will ask her to go and rest. I will start using picture. Ojo has also worked on other projects. There is something we think we are seeing that they are there, actually they are, they are not. So that shows the perception of human life. And um, there is a, a, part, a scripture in the Bible that leads to this, that uh, who thinks that he is standing, let him shake his face, let him fall. His and skill is not only in sculpting. What I do when I'm uh, less busy, when I'm my free time, pleasure time, and I don't have anything coming up for me. I just sat down, bring out my charcoal, I start drawing on the uh, on the paper. Uh, this particular one, uh, I stumbled on to this picture on the internet, even though I changed a lot of things about it. But uh, what the message I received when I saw this uh, is a contentment. And that moment I saw the pic uh, the picture on the internet. I, I was thinking about myself then. Like, to display his sculpting skill before us, he chooses to sculpt for us. But this time, there is no live model. He says pictures would suffice, even though the task would pose some challenges. And normally, if I have a live model, I will check the side profile, the both side profile, before I now go to the front view. So that will give me the correct shape of the head. But now that the person I'm not seeing it, so I have to go for different kind of picture I can get my hands on. So that is how I have like about six different pictures. So like this one, this one will give me like the profile, 
this one and this one. So the front face about this one. So and uh, the character I love mode in this the uh, the smiling part. So you can see it's one that is the dominant. So that's what I will be working on most. The beginning of a creation. At the first, what I need to get from this work is the uh, the, frame, uh, the uh, profile. The sculptor in Nigeria, Ujo explains, has challenges in the areas of sourcing materials for work, getting mentorship at an early stage, and even equipment. Those materials, it's not what you can just get anywhere and find. So it's very hard. So that is what I think is pushing a lot of people back. Um, even uh, my present set, I think for the past five years, we are still the set that I was able to still strive a bit to come up with something. Because I know one of my some of my colleagues they are doing well now. You are likewise me. Well to start from a for somewhere you have to there is a little beginning. So uh, for me I, I believe if I can see a space and one one or two materials if I can put them together uh, in the nearest for sure I'll be able to multiply it to my own standard. Because I to, according to the standard what I'm looking to towards for is like in the nice in the next five years, I want to have the God help me. I want to have the best sculpture academy in the world, so which I'm working towards. Because uh, recently I received call from many places, many young people that they, they, they really love to go into something like this, but there's no there's no platform for them. Deft and intricate moves are required for projects like this. One man who witnessed Ojo's creation of the female core member statue is Razak Ganiu. He tells us what Ojo left out in his explanation about that project. It took a lot of hard work. I must commend him. He's very hardworking. You know, it took him a long, a long, a long time. He was working deep into the night. You know, when there was no light, and you know, he was using uh, um, the inverter light. You know, it wasn't so bright. So. I am actually surprised that the work actually came out so well. Nobody knows what he's put into it, okay? Well, you know, we can all see the, the, the product and we're all rejoicing with him. I, I could see the passion burning in his eyes, okay? I knew he had a timeline. He wanted to complete the project before passing out. So, you know, he was putting in extra hours. So I understood that. But also, you know, when he get, got to around 1 a.m., I had to come and say, come on, you need to rest, okay? Um, it's from a humble background, you know, like most of us. So... Working the whole day meant nothing to him. One hardly thinks of what goes into sculpting when admiring a finished work. Uh, right now I'm about to take the mode, which will enable me to go to the next process.
time is needed for the project is one that lasts for days. And one of the secrets behind the lifelike looks of the female core member statue is painting. It's information Ojo freely shares, just as he chooses to share the spotlight here with another artist, Josiah Onwezim. After this cast now, we are proceeding to the painting. And uh, this is my guy, uh, this is my friend here. Uh, actually, why I brought him here because uh, the NYC project I did, it was one that came out when I run out of funds. I don't have money to buy paint, to buy colors. He said he's going to assist me. And he brought all this color all the way from Lagos and he came to assist me to do the painting and all those things. Precision is a key requirement at this point also. The proper blend of colors helps. As in the other stages, there is no rush. A bright environment is also necessary for accuracy. The painter pauses at this point Stroke after stroke and touch after touch, the painter reaches his goal. Uh, this is the eyeglass, uh, which is made of a uh, normal carton. So I just. I thought of something very fast and quick that I can use. So the only thing I can get my hand uh, is, uh, what I can get my hand on is uh, a carton. So normal biscuit carton. Uh, so I just cut it to the size and I make sure that you can. At the end, I use uh, my fiberglass materials to just coat it so that it might be so that it will look very very strong. Sitting through a creation like this one exposes one to ingredients useful not only for building things but ensuring success in life as well. Passion, dedication and focus were evident throughout this process. But Ojo's desire and willingness to share his knowledge sticks out clearly enough to be an inspiration for just anyone. Just finish Jessica, so, just finish I